Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Swarner here, and um, finally bringing you guys an update on my 3D printer. Um, I haven't really made a video on it in the past like week here. Basically, uh, I've been waiting on end stops um, that I ordered for the 3D printer, and I did pay extra for one day shipping, and they did get here one day once it shipped. <laughs> it took them like a week to package it up, and so I was a little bit frustrated with that, but it was okay because I had a lot of stuff going on and just basically working all week long. So. Um, I finally got them in a couple days ago and they are right here. I've got three of them. They are mechanical end stops. So basically there's a, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. But there's a little metal lever here. And so when the, um, when the motor or the arm hits the end of the axis, it'll trigger it and you can hear there's a clicking sound. And once the clicking sound triggers, it'll basically tell it, Hey, you've reached the end of the line and not to go any further. And the thing is the DaVinci, which is the printer that I am converting, um, over to the ramps and Arduino board it has end stops built in um, but they basically are they're not mechanical they use um, I don't know if it's like a laser or a sensor I did I saw a little bit on it in forms and I was looking like a week and a half ago but I can't really remember exactly but I know that it's not mechanical it doesn't use a switch it's basically again some kind of a sensor or laser and I mean obviously it'd be a lot easier to just use the ones that are built in but when I was reading on it um, a lot of people were saying that the um, ramps board outputs I want to say maybe 12 volts or maybe it was 5 volts um, where the end stops go and that the um, default ones that are already installed in the DaVinci use a lesser uh, frequency or lesser voltage and so um, people were saying like you can just basically use resistors to um, wire it up correctly but some guy was talking about how he blew out his um, DaVinci's end stops and I didn't really want to deal with it. I just said, I, I don't know, that sounds complicated. And there wasn't a lot of like information on it. So I just went ahead and ordered again, three of these end stops right here that I'm going to be installing in place. Um, they're basically, what does it say on them? It says they're MakerBot. This is designed by MakerBot. Um, and it doesn't really say it's called, it looks like it's called GPL V3. So um, I'll try my best to remember to link you guys in the description. If you guys want to purchase the same ones, like if you guys are doing this conversion process and you know want to use the same, uh, hardware that I'm using but um yeah so that's pretty much the next step um I did look in some forums too and see some guy that did use either these ones or something really similar to these they're mechanical and it looks like he had to do a bit of dremeling um to install them so I'm gonna see what like what I can do to make install on these as simple as possible because obviously um the DaVinci isn't intended to have these inside there so the little end stop holders aren't gonna fit perfectly I'm gonna have to do some kind of like modification to it so um we'll see i mean i could probably because i mean these things are so light i could probably just use some kind of a um adhesive to just hold it in place um but i don't know time will tell so first thing i'm gonna do basically is hook this all up to the ramps board um and then test them one by one not inside of the actual printer just to make sure that they're all working and they're functional and not defective once i make sure that that is the case um, then you know next step will be to install so basically things I've got on the agenda you know, over the next day or two here is to get these end stops installed um, and then I need to mess with the extruder a bit more uh, because when I was messing with it it was having trouble loading the filament so I might have to tighten some stuff up or if worse comes to worse I might have to resort back to the stock extruder which I hope I hope I hope I hope I don't have to do um, and if I do have to do that maybe I can just do that for a temporary thing and then print out some um, print out like a um, created um, holder for this this heater or this extruder that I'm using which is like I believe it's the e3d Pico hot end I think is what it is um, so yeah we'll see how that goes and then other than that I mean it's really just a little bit of collaborating or not collaborating or yeah calibration I guess on the uh, stepper motors because um, they're not obviously um, hooked up correctly for the drivers that are on the ramps board and then I need to mess around with the hotbed which is not currently functioning so that's just my wiring I would imagine I'm, I'm able to get the motor to move it up and down but in terms of heating and actually reading the temperature on it it's not working so I'll probably just have to do some digging in forums and maybe post some um, questions to someone with maybe a little bit more to um, a little bit more what's the word um experience 
and just knowledge can help me out with that. So anyways, that is where I'm currently at. I figured I'd give you guys an update because I did have quite a few people that were interested in this conversion or this build process. So be looking for updates. Thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Dope Swinner and I am out. Peace guys. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I'll see you guys next time.